And when I also go to propose my wife to be, I should also bear in mind that behind her there is a chain of relatives. And when we settle in marriage, out of my chain of relatives, there will be two or three who will want you to behave like they are coming to stay in their home and do things at free will. And you also behind her chain of relatives. There are also people who behave exactly that way. So how do we concretize this family ties? So that they will not confuse our relationship as husband and wife. Family ties. You have heard several times from couples. My husband does not talk. My husband does not talk. My husband is not that difficult. My wife is not that difficult. But her relatives. No, His relatives. Have you not been for his relatives? I was going to enjoy my marriage. I was going to enjoy my family. I'm sure we have heard that. Have we heard that? Yes. Family ties. Family ties is not well handled. In our family life. They will break our relationship. They break our marriages. They break the future of our children. Because it is in the family we create societies. It is from the family that nations grow. It is from the family. That churches become churches. It is from the family that the individuals build their future. Have I said something? Yes. Have we said something? Yes. It is from the family. That nation is grow. It is from the family. We send people to school. It is from the family. That society is like so let the society here grow. So family ties. Vis-a-vis -vis family life. Yes. 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 We need to know that in families, husbands are not their wives' fathers. The role of the father, of the wife, before you married her, when she was still with their father, the moment you marry her, that role is transferred to you. Have you heard what I said? When you marry a woman, you marry a man. They wrote changes. I can go and marry my wife from their father. Then I bring her home. It should dawn on my mind that I am now the father. I am the husband. I am the uncle. I am the brothers. I am her sisters. 
So husbands, are their wives' fathers. In a family, or in family life, wives are husbands' mothers. So women, when you accept to marry us, no matter my chin is gray. I am your son. Many can you agree with that? Yes. Eh? Many, where are you? Can you agree? Yes. Do you agree that we are children of these people? At the same time, we are fathers of this same people. That is family life. I don't know how I can simplify it so that it is well understood. But I know that you are the schools, you have age. So you have to have we should also, in family life, note that husbands build houses. We should note in family life that for We should not speak them up. Speak them up. I'm saying in family life. We should also not, not, not in not it at any all, okay. not in N-O-T-E. We should also know, okay, let me use that exactly. word. <laughs> we should also know <laughs> that husbands start building houses. But wives build Homes. What's the difference? 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 What's the in that building, you, the man, builds. Your family life is incomplete. These people you see in skates and dresses, our women, our wives, they are not big, they are not too small. These are the people that build homes. Family life is tolerating one another. Husband tolerates the wife. The wife tolerates the husband. Family life. Otherwise, if we live in isolation, family life is not complete. If we want to qualify to go to heaven, if we want to go to heaven, as men, if we want to qualify to go to heaven as men, if we got to refer to our go to a kumulu, to the animal, they would say, Kuya Baba Shao popped in a land of Bevat. My Opa. Yes, you will qualify to go to heaven. If you want to qualify to go to heaven, you will not refer to our go to a kumulu. To the unmarried, I would say, the so good man. Open your jaws. To the people that are already married, 
marriage. Preacher was preaching, but we were still staying in Lusaka. Wakashimikira <laughs> Sit up on I gave it. Ah, so marriage qualifies people to go to heaven. After the service, I met the same preacher outside. I said, Pastor, Clive, fight me. When you are concluding your service, you are in your appeal. You said if you want to go to heaven, <coughs> does marriage qualify someone? Is it a criteria for one to enter heaven? You know what he said to me? He asked me a question. Are you married? Then I said to him, Yes. Yeah. I'm married. And he said, How long have you stayed with your wife? And I said, I think we're about one year, seven months for now. And I think we're just married. Then she said, No, no, no. It's okay, fine. Enjoy your marriage. But you want it to be five years, ten years. Then you will understand what I've said here. Because during that time, that period, she said to me, 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 she to me, she said to me, she said to me, she said to me, she to me, she said to this is the reason why I say if you want to qualify to go to heaven friends family life is not important as it is has a whole lot of a list of lessons silent lessons it's in the family life, in the homes, it's not like sitting in a classroom, there is a teacher there, and there is a board there, and the teacher is teaching, and you are reading. No! There's no board, there's no teacher. Family life teaches silent lessons. You will be seated in your sitting room, alone, on the wall you will be seeing a board and you are reading it is a family life the other lesson in family life which is very very simple is if you are a man who does not want to see dirty on your clothes prepare to accept dirty because in family life, you will not be continually being husband and wife. Children will come in. Because you will be in a family life. That is why the Bible says that if you are married, you are husband and wife. So it is how you carry yourself, husband and wife. In family life. It is how you conceptualize what arises in family life. It is how you internalize the issues that arise in family life and how you put to an end. That is family life. Family life is not one person. God for us all. 
May each knee that has knelt down be blessed and touched by you, O oh God. We've got different burdens in our lives as individuals. May you meet us at our points of our needs. We have heard the message of God. We say thank you for who you are and thank you for what you've done in our lives. We pray for our women of oh God, especially those that are in marriage. Father, give them the ability to stand Jehovah God and let them know the position in the marriages of my Jehovah God. Father, some are weak and some Jehovah God have not have that confidence of what you have given unto them, O my Jehovah God. But this moment I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that Jehovah God may you give them confidence that they are able to do things that they have never done in their lives before. It is not easy, O oh my Jehovah God, but I pray as long as they are your children and they call upon your name, Father, may you do something that you have never done in their lives. Help them to be godly women. Help them, Jehovah God, to be godly mothers and godly wives of my Jehovah God, so that they will be able to look and build their homes because, Jehovah God, you are there with them. I pray for the Holy Spirit to be manifested in their lives, O oh God. Father, how I pray that may you teach them to be better and best in everything that they do. The challenge that they have is not easy, O oh God. If you leave them alone, they are not going to do it, O oh my Jehovah God. They go through a lot of pressure in their daily lives. I pray that may you encourage them, O oh God. Help them even to pray for their Jehovah God, their families, O oh my Jehovah God. Father, the Bible says, a good woman builds her home, but a foolish one destroys her home with her own foolishness. How I pray that let our women, let our wives of God be wise women, O oh my Jehovah God. And for those that are, are who are still alone, Father, I pray in the special way. May you provide their life partners, O oh God. Because you are the God who knows. You are the God who understands. Father, there is nothing that you have ever failed. According to Jeremiah 32, verse 27, the Bible says, I created the heavens and the earth out of my own hands and power. I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? The answer is, there is nothing that is too hard for you, God. Father, may you wake mighty things in our women of God. Father, may you provide for their daily needs. Let them have their hope in you. Give them special strength, O oh my Jehovah God. And whatever the burdens that may be facing in their marriages, O oh God, Father, you are the God who understands them better than we do. I pray that Jehovah God, even as the week of prayer has begun today, may you mend our homes. May you, Jehovah God, speak to us in a special way. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.